So, you're not Sherlock Holmes, and we're not Watson, but let's put our heads together to go through these 10 mysterious photos finally explained. Even if you aren't afraid of ghosts or creeped out by aliens, everyone has something that weirds them out. So, let's use our strength in numbers and explore this evidence of the supernatural walking through our own real world. The truth is out there. And that red you're seeing isn't just the threatening eyes of a hungry skunk ape or the lights of a UFO hovering overhead. It's the subscribe button. Give it a click and the hub will give you more odd evidence to blow your minds. Skunk Ape Dave Seeley was 10 years old when he saw it. Shaped like a towering man, but covered from big head to big foot with thick hairs, Dave and his brother witnessed Florida's own Yeti. Nicknamed for its powerful smell, the skunk ape was standing before them, wandering through the marshlands in their backyard. The year was 1973, and their home was located on what is now a nature preserve in the Everglades, an urban legend that's been whispered through the area and passed around by the native tribe inhabiting this land for centuries prior. There's been sightings and videos for years, but it wasn't until a woman in Sarasota snapped an up-close picture that the debate of the skunk ape's existence gained real prominence. Thinking she'd seen a wandering orangutan off of the interstate, she pulled over to get a closer look. Instead, she came face to face with a man-sized beast. Many believe that people like this unnamed Sarasota woman and Dave Seeley are really enterprising hucksters looking to trick unsuspecting tourists, but as it hasn't been proven as a hoax just yet, you may want to head to Florida to find the skunk ape for yourself. Mummified Finger of a Giant Originally published in a European newspaper, this mysterious photo was revealed to the public in 1988. It shows the mummified remains of a single ancient finger. It appears just as normal as the finger of an old mummy, except this digit happens to be 15 inches long. According to the source, this finger passed tests, coming from an organic corpse, not some kind of man-made fakery. An entrepreneur named Gregor Spori brought this finger to the attention of the public in the late 80s. First uncovered by a grave robber in Egypt sometime in the early to mid 20th century, the man who discovered it had the finger checked by local medical professionals. X-rays performed in the 1960s proved the bone structure within the preserved skin, and Spori believes the rest of the body could be buried in an undisclosed tomb somewhere in the Egyptian desert. Monotheistic religious texts mention a race of beings known as the Nephilim, believed to be descended from the fallen angels who mated with human women. These were giants who walked the earth. Until the photograph of the mummified finger entered the fringe news cycle 30 years ago, no evidence of the Nephilim existed. Could this finger be proof that giants once walked among us? Solway Firth Astronaut on a bright sunny day in 1964, Jim Templeton recalled merely taking pictures of his young daughter picking flowers in a field while wearing her new dress. By all accounts, his wife and two friends stood off by the car far out of the camera's frame. Yet when he got the pictures developed, he saw a third figure lurking behind his daughter, a man from outer space. Who else could it be? This was the mid-60s, and for the prior decade or so, UFO fever was as prevalent as the fears of the Soviet invasion on the cover pages of any newspaper. The local authorities discounted its authenticity, and Kodak even held a contest for anyone to prove the picture was a hoax. No one came forward. At the time, a UFO was reported in Woomera, Australia, and an Australian missile test was aborted when two men were said to mysteriously appear at the target site. The missiles had been produced just a few miles away from Solway Firth, England, but experts argue that the figure was actually Mrs. Templeton. The model of Jim's camera obscured 30% of the photographer's view. She could have walked in and out of frame without him noticing, and her figure could have been dulled by the camera's exposure. Until any aliens come forward claiming to be the figure, this case appears closed. Lunar Pyramid Undertaken on December 7, 1972, the voyage of Apollo 17 was the last to take humans to the surface of the moon. NASA's shifting priorities and budget meant that they'd focus their efforts elsewhere in space. But some conspiracy theorists argue there's a deeper and darker reason we stopped, and they point to this grainy photograph. They argue that the shadowy triangle is grainy evidence of a pyramid on the lunar surface. If there is indeed alien artifacts and monuments left on the moon, then this picture is the best evidence for that theory. If astronauts came into physical contact with extraterrestrial structures, maybe a kind of top secret interaction took place and an agreement that caused humans to stop visiting the moon directly. Or more likely, NASA explored all they could on the moon and figured they should start aiming for Mars and beyond. NASA's official archives labeled this photograph as blank, but there appears to be a blurry object object in the foreground, which adds perspective to the triangle shape in the distance. While it's most likely a trick of the light, the Egyptian pyramid on the moon will continue to fuel speculation about aliens and government cover-ups for decades to come. The Spectre of Newby Church 
Since the dawn of photography, humankind has always searched for proof of the supernatural hidden in pictures of familiar people and places. In the photograph of the altar of Newby Church, you don't have to look too hard. The apparition standing in front of the stained glass of this Christian church is just begging to communicate with the living. Taken in 1964 by Reverend K. F. Lord, the humble preacher was known for being an honest man of God. As soon as the image was publicized, it was subject to scrutiny, but as far as any experts can tell, no tampering or double exposure were done on Reverend Lord's end. Interestingly enough, Newby Church of Yorkshire, England doesn't have a history of ghost sightings. Also, compared to much of the other architecture in the country, the building is relatively young, only built in 1870. Yet, no one's disproven this ghost that, based on its surroundings, was nine feet tall. If true, it's believed that the spirit is that of a monk based on his robes, or he may very well be the villain from Scream. Either way, if you see it wandering around places with no previous history of hauntings, ask this extra tall being if it's searching for a giant missing finger. Baltic Sea Rock at the bottom of the Baltic Sea, Swedish marine explorers discovered evidence of an unbelievable shipwreck. Unbelievable because it was first thought to be part of a space shipwreck. The outline of the object matched that of Han Solo's space cruiser, the Millennium Falcon, from the original Star Wars trilogy. Of all the extraterrestrials to meet, Han Solo has to be at the top of any reasonable person's list. But after an expedition was undertaken by Swedish researchers, the team discovered that the 60 meter diameter circle was deeply ingrained bedrock. While it isn't particularly alien in origin, the rock was curious because of what is and is not resting on it. While silt covers most of the floor of oceans and waterways, there's none to be found on this smooth sea rock. Beyond the lack of silt, there are deep grooves etched into the stone, so straight and formulated that they look as if they were carved by man or some other intelligent force. And within the grooves is a black substance which the scientists cannot seem to identify. It's not a spaceship, so we'll cross that off our list, but we're going to assume that some giant lizard will burst out of it until some Science proves otherwise. The Battle of Los Angeles Following Pearl Harbor, the mainland United States didn't see any major conflicts, but the country remained on high alert until the end of the war. With battles constantly raging throughout the Pacific, America's west coast was particularly on edge. On February 23, 1942, the Japanese blew up oil rigs around Santa Barbara, California. At 2.52 a.m. on February 25th, the alarms went off. Air raid sirens accompanied a citywide blackout as Los Angeles prepared for the Japanese attack. Planes were thought to be sighted in the clear night sky. In all, 1,433 rounds were fired but they hit nothing. No wreckage was ever recovered. After the war, the Japanese confirmed that no warplanes were flown over LA that night, and the US government chastised the authorities in Los Angeles for fostering an air of panic. But eyewitness accounts of citizens across the city argued they had seen flying lights, with some even stating that a saucer-like object had hovered over the city and appears on famous photos of that night. The official government explanation is that a series of weather balloons were released, accidentally causing the panic. But we'll let you decide whether it was the weather or a major alien encounter a full five years before the Roswell. The White Lady of Worstead Church England is full of haunted pictures, and here's another one. In 1975, Diane Berthelot just had her gallbladder removed, but the recovery was a real struggle. Despite the antibiotics, she hadn't been feeling better, and her husband was starting to worry about her health. Their visit to Worstead Church in Norfolk, England was started like any other day, but as Diane sat in the pew and prayed, she felt a warm tingling wash over her. Peter, her husband, had been taking pictures that day and snapped a shot of her as she sat, looking more at peace than she had in a long time. Six months later, the film was developed and they treated their friend to a slideshow of their trip. Unlike the scene from It where the clown, Pennywise, finds his way into the pictures, they spotted a more upbeat figure in their pictures. As the photograph attested, a ghostly woman dressed in white was sitting behind Diane as she prayed. Shocked, the couple went back to the church and there, the priest told them of the white lady, a healer known to the locals, who appeared to the sick and whose appearance cured them of their ailments. The Naga Lights whether you believe it or not, curious stories of spontaneous combustion have been the subject of news stories and the inspiration for local legends for centuries. It's hard to find irrefutable proof that the phenomenon exists, at least evidence that it can occur in humans at any time. But the Mekong River in Thailand, on the other hand, explodes all the time. The Naga fireballs shoot out from the surface of the river in bright red lights and pierce the night sky several hundred times per year. No final explanation has been given to settle the debate, but there are a few theories. Outside of local beliefs that these natural Natural fireworks are fire breath from the mythical snake Naga. Scientists believe the lights may come from methane bursts bubbled up from the bottom of the river. A Thai TV show sent reporters to confirm for sure, and they found soldiers in the middle of the river shooting fireworks from boats. While that might confuse some tourists, locals still argue that the lights have been shooting into the air for as long as they remember. Most likely, the lights are coming from escaping gas. The Black Knight 
first discovered on film during a routine space mission undertaken by the International Space Station in 1998, the Black Knight stuck out to citizen astronomers because of its odd size and shape. The jet black satellite orbits Earth from pole to pole, and it doesn't appear to be rocky in origin. Some theorists argue that this is an alien-made device that's over 13,000 years old and left to circle our atmosphere as a means to monitor the planet. While placing an age on this object seems odd considering no humans yet come into contact with it, a retired U.S. Naval Aviation major claimed in 1954 that two satellites were thought to be orbiting Earth, and this was three years before Russia launched Sputnik, the first ever man-made satellite. Stranger still, back in 1899, Nikola Tesla picked up unrecognizable radio waves coming from the cosmos. A Norwegian scientist picked up the same waves in 1928, and 45 years later, a Scottish astronomer claimed he decrypted the radio signals and determined that the as-yet unphotographed Black Knight satellite was a welcome message sent from the star system of Epsilon Buddhist 12,500 years ago. NASA, however, has disputed this story, saying that it's merely a thermal blanket lost by some astronauts. Maybe you've been converted into a full-fledged conspiracy theorist, or your skepticism's been confirmed. Either way, we hope you're ready to search for more solutions to all the crazy mysteries keeping us awake at night. Stay tuned to The Hub for more stories to fire up your imagination and haunt your dreams.